Hey guys, we are at the DQ. DQ. Back at it, they dropped some new blizzards and also like just their summer blizzards in general. And we thought, hmm, we hadn't had a good ice cream moment. We so. love ice cream and Dairy Queen's just not somewhere we go often enough. So today- I could not tell you the last time I ate their food. No, we are hitting it hard. We did do a mobile order because there are so, I haven't hit the button yet guys. I haven't hit the button, haven't yeah. hit it. Yeah, we haven't placed it. But if you guys are loving these videos, we are loving them. You guys are telling us you're loving them. We would love you guys to give this video a thumbs up. We're trying to hit a thousand. Speaking of buttons, hit that button as yeah. well as a subscribe button. And the bell. Yeah. We've got a lot of items. I'm about to hit place my order. That's the location we're at. Yes. And drive through and I'm just doing it. I did it. Oh my God. They're going to hate us inside. So we got five blizzards. We got a new burger. I think it, we think it's new. You saw something about yeah. it. Yeah. It's new yeah. to us yeah. either way. The backyard barbecue. A twisty misty. Thing. Some onion rings. Some pretzels. No. Yes. Cheese curds. Cheese curds. Oh my God. It's going to be so good. I think it's time for us to get in the drive-thru and let them know we're here. Does it say that you can check Just in? Just hop in the drive-thru lane at the menu board, let the store know you have a mobile well, it order. it says estimated pickup time. <laughs> so. Maybe that's just, I mean, it says hop in the drive-thru lane. But if we give them like five minutes at a courtesy and okay. then we jump in the drive-thru line and then they should do that. What, what I will tell you is there is one person in the drive-thru and if they are not already making our food, then that would be horrible. They should have a check-in button where you can be like, I am here, start making my food. Yeah. I'm gonna give them two more minutes and I'm getting the drive-thru line. Yeah. Just like a, like a, oh, I drove from across the street. Yeah. I told Steph today we need to go to Tennessee because they have other food places that we don't have here. I said, look, we can make a fun weekend out of it. I'm gonna go to Del Taco. And they've got something called Taco John's and there was something else that they had that I told stuff was up there. I don't know that it's Jack in the Box. I can't remember what we it was. We don't have Jack in the Box. We have something called Jack's. I don't know if you guys have Jack's. Yeah, someone commented and said they missed Jack's I breakfast. Think, I, well, I think, is it a Southern thing or is it an Alabama thing? It's not just an our town thing, but it's a chain, but I just don't know how big of a chain it is. They are like a burger, chicken finger, They're fried kind of chicken like a Hardee's or Carl Jr. Bojangles-y. Bojangles. And they have really good breakfast. Which all of those places do, so. Yeah. We haven't done Whataburger. Say. We do have Whataburger. Aw, it started in Homewood. So it is an Alabama thing, but it's gone beyond. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like Milo's, and a lot of people can get Milo's sweet tea in grocery stores, but there's an actual Milo's restaurant This has with burgers. almost 200 locations in Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, and Mississippi. It's safe to say Jack's truly is all about the South. Okay, so they've expanded, but they did start here. We should include fun facts about wherever we are. Fun fact about DQ. Actually, I don't know any fun facts about DQ, but we did grow up eating Dairy Queen in a small town in Alabama called Brent, or Centerville. Centerville. And we always got corn dogs and no Dairy Queens have corn dogs anywhere. Every time I go to a Dairy Queen, I'm like, I want a corn dog, but you don't carry them. I don't know if it was a like franchise type thing down there or what, but it was not the same as the Dairy Queen. No, of it was definitely different. Today, I just blew One the bubble. One of my strongest memories about Dairy Queen is the walk-up window, the Dennis the Menace on the packaging of the blizzards. And like the cups and stuff. Why did I think it was peanuts? Like, like Charlie know, it was Brown. Definitely Dennis the Menace. That's funny. It started in Joliet, Illinois. Remember Dennis the Menace on the Dairy Queen cups? And the funny thing is, is this is a Gen X thing. Gen oh yeah. X. Oh yeah. No, I know. And like Heather loved blizzards, okay. and so like she would always get Butterfinger blizzards. This looks familiar to me. Look at these guys. And this had to be from like the early 90s. Dairy Queen was a pioneer of soft serve ice cream. I think I knew that. I wanna see if I can find the old pictures of the Dairy Queen. And their recipe is top secret. That's yeah. kind of what the one looks like that we grew up at, like going to. First opened in 1940. That's why some of these look so drive-in, like. Do you wanna know the state that has the most DQ locations? Us. Nope. South Carolina. It is a southern state. Mississippi. Nope, think big. Texas. Texas. Well, that's kind of a given. All right, let's get in line. She's panicking. I'm 65. 94. 64. Come on, Mom. Okay. I got you. Come on, Mom. <laughs> Get your hands ready because when I start handing you these Sunday, where am I going to put it? I don't know. We've shut the store down because we ordered too much food. Okay. We have two so additional. Two things. We're going to have eight. Well, so I had a mobile order for Tracy. Okay. Maybe they'll let me stay if, um, why are you looking at me? I don't know. This is, He's like, who's ordering this all this? This is so rocky. Yeah, this is a terrible drink. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Panic. Thank you. Happy tastes good. Thank you. Wish 
something. I think that's the thing. Yeah. See, I told you we didn't have to wait. It was ready. Mm-hmm. Next time, listen to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love that they did it like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are. Do you need any sauces or anything? Am I good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, Dairy Queen for the win. And we even got an extra You want to go over here? I over don't here. care, but this is very precarious, so just... Just don't go over here. You know what? We're we going to park here. Yeah, we yeah, gonna, yeah. We're going to be in our own little spot. I'm so excited, you guys. Uh, going to get our tray set up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is a whole process. They didn't flip these upside down for the record, so we get She didn't even lizards. do the last one? She didn't do any of them. <gasps> they're, they're closed. All right, how do you like my display? I love it. It's so good. All right, guys, and hopefully it's a cool overcast day and we're not gonna have any issues. Oh, guess what we have? I guess what sticky we have. hands everywhere. Ketchup! We also have hot sauce from, is there any? Oh yeah, there's cheese for the pretzels. Oh my gosh, this is insane, guys. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Um, Ice cream? The Misty's getting melty. Mm. This is a mango strawberry kiwi. I'm gonna bring this down. Well, it's really good. I just wish it was more slush. That is a good looking burger, you guys. I know. Holy crap. Like, let me just. Oh my God, this is good. Mmm. Like, look at that burger, guys. Where's the tequila? Steph, get your face out. Get your face out. Oh my goodness. This. That's like commercial worthy. Yeah, this is commercial worthy. Good job, Dairy Queen. I saw the fried onion rings and I was like, there's chicken on here. And I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, Steph wants to try a cheese curd because I do think that's one of those things Ooh. that is best. Oh no. Well, we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> best Tried. had when it's <gasps> hot. Look at that long thing. I'm going to get the long one. boy. They're looking, they're giving chicken nuggets. They do. Yeah. Chicken nugget energy. All right, here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh my God, Dairy Queen. What? Holy crap. I forgot about these. So, one thing I'll tell you that I'm not sure about is the cheese in here tastes more mozzarella y. But, mm -mm. it squeaked. Mm hmm. That's curd. That's a curd. curd. Yes. Uh, oh my God, Dairy mm. Queen. I need one more. Doing it right. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. These are up there. I put these next to Freddy's. I don't remember these being this good. I don't either. Have they changed them? I'm not sure, but these are so good. The crunch, the oh, cheese. Oh, it squeaks so good. Uh-huh. Can we like... Uh, get up there and see if you can't get a squeak in it. It's squeaking, I promise. <laughs> if you don't know, cheese curds squeak when you eat them. These are good. It's actually not technically cheese, but it's a byproduct of cheese. Let's get a rank right now. And count of three. One, two, three, nine. Point five. Nine. <laughs> I don't want to give it a 10 because I think Freddy's are a 10. No. I, I think those like are better. better. Oh, okay. We'll come back to those. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try some ice cream before mm -hmm. we lose all of the ice cream. Okay. I think we just need to grab it because we don't know what it is. Should we just grab it and try it and try to figure out what it is? I mean, I know what that one is, obviously. Yeah. So the puppy chow let's is just, supposed actually, to be new. Actually, let's just new. start front to back. Yeah. Okay. I can't tell what these are, you guys. Frozen. That like. might be the puppy chow. Or s'mores. Or s'mores. It's going to be a guessing game. It's sticky. It's your whole nightmare. Mm, it's got bars of chocolate. But like, I mean, it still could be puppy chow. I know. Mm. Mm. Puppy chow is puppy chow pieces, peanut butter topping, and choco chunks. What are you thinking? It is s'mores is marshmallow filled chocolate bars. Oh, and Graham blended with our world famous vanilla. I'm trying to see. So that's s'mores. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. It's good. All it's right. kind of got an overall marshmallow flavor, I feel like, as it is. Well, I would hope. Mm. No, that's good. But it's not like, um, if you don't like s'mores or the idea of s'mores, it's not overwhelming. Graham cracker. That's what I thought I was getting with graham cracker. Mm. Holy crap. That's good. But do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like an overly, like, s'mores. It's just, like, sweet, mm. chocolate, texture of the graham cracker. It's just good. Mm. It's very good. 
I, but also with ice cream, I really don't know how you do I ice, cream ice cream wrong. I know. I know. I love ice cream. I mean, we'll see when we get to the cotton candy because it's questionable. Yeah. <laughs> but. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Well. You guys, I know we've been mentioning our podcast. I promise it's coming. Mm -hmm. We are trying to keep up with these videos as well as the store. Mm -hmm. It's coming. I don't know why I was trying to go over the spoon like that. And you guys work. left so many nice comments in our last video. Honestly, I'm just really happy that we're back doing... Oh, my God. It's, it, this is horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is the choco-dipped strawberry. Yes. Let me I'm give nervous. you a... I know it's got <clears> strawberry <throat> pieces and chocolate. So all of these have chocolate pieces i feel like okay Not choco dip strawberry strawberry topping and choco chunks blended with our world famous vanilla soft serve so it's just pieces of strawberry and chocolate chunks i don't want to say that's boring but i mean if you're like a big chocolate strawberry fan which i'm so so okay i think i'm becoming the world's not picky eater because that's good yeah okay. i found my napkin oh my god this is so messy you guys what were we thinking getting five blizzards Mm. 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 Well, it is so, I feel like I can't get up close, like. That's good. Yeah. See? Like, it's not this like This is a, a more, like, simple It's a. It's not flavor. like a fake strawberry. It's a. No, there's pieces of strawberry yeah. in here. Okay, I'm going to get it, like. Sorry, I keep going to the Piece of strawberry too. with chocolate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bless. It's all over my pants. Okay, here is what um, the strawberry and chocolate one looks like. So much ice cream everywhere. I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my god, I love strawberries and ice cream and chocolate. <laughs> you didn't even know. I didn't know. Those strawberries are so freaking good. Okay, I think this next one... Mm. This has to be puppy chow. No, that could be puppy chow. I think this is my favorite video we've ever done. Because <laughs> it's ice cream. <laughs> what, is, what is this supposed to be? What is the other chocolate one? Brookie. 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 Mm -hmm. This might be Brookie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I have to tell you. Um, how about I take one of these spoons and dig in with you? Whatever. Mm. What did I just lick? That tasted like mustard. <laughs> I think this might be puppy chow. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh no. shoot. It's on okay. my finger. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's weird. I don't like that. I don't either. It's like I just ate Chex Mix. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice really cream. weird. That's really weird. I don't like that. Mm. I've never had, I don't think I've had puppy chow. I mean, here's my thing. The ice cream other than that is unremarkable. So like, unless you really like puppy chow or like salty and sweet, which is not even that salty, it's more weedy. <laughs> That's weird, <laughs> but why am I going back? Because you probably like the texture. The texture's fun. I didn't have it. They're big. Mm -hmm. I didn't think they were that big. Mm -hmm. So she said, I just gotta start cutting these up. I gotta go. Mm. Mm. It's mm. very much a texture journey. Not bad, not great. So far, I would give s'mores an eight. The strawberry. I've no, I lost my only napkin. Honestly? Okay, napkin. It's an eight too. What do you give them? Uh, I'm sorry. What did you say? I said s'mores eight. Yeah, s'mores is the best. Strawberry, I said eight too. I no, like I would it. I feel like a seven. I'm not. It's not like we're gonna do something. Is that cotton candy? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm excited. Most of these are like just kind of look whatever. <gasps> <gasps> it's a rainbow. It didn't pass the um, test. That's why she didn't do it because it's healthy. Oh, no. So can you tell me what the cotton candy is again? Yeah. Mm. The Misty is really good. Kind of tro tropical vibes with the mango flavor. Mm, makes me want to go to the beach. Yeah. Cotton candy is cotton candy sprinkles okay. with vanilla. How does it make it? I don't know. Let's, let's taste it. See if How it's How does it flavorful. make it vanilla? I mean, cotton candy. Which, cotton candy is just sugar. Mm. Well, it's not about the flavor, but that texture is fun. Ooh. Uh, it's somewhere between nerds and Pop rock rocks. candy. Yeah, same thing. Not Pop Rocks. It's like if you sprinkled rock candy. I mean, it's kind of Pop Rocksy. No, that's good. It's fun. Mmm. And it, it doesn't really give it a flavor because mm -mm. it's just mm. sugar. A little bit. Not like a. It's just a really sweet, sugary. Yeah. Vanilla Why ice is cream. This with... kind of my favorite. No, I love the crunch. Mm. I thought the um, puppy chow was a texture journey. Oh, we are on a trip. Hmm. 
that that was fun. It was fun. I'm that was an eight point five for yeah, excitement. Agreed. It really did. Like as a kid, I would have I would have loved that. Yeah. I mean, I love it now, but like I'm saying, like my kidness would have been like this is fun. I'm eating cotton candy sprinkled vanilla soft serve. If I was a kid, I would say ice cream. I wouldn't say soft serve. <laughs> what are we down to? Brookie. Brookie. Is it? It's new. Mm -hmm. So cotton candy and the brookie. No. No. Puppy Chow and Brookie. The puppy are Chow and Brookie. And Puppy Chow was disappointing. So Brookie, don't disappoint. Come through. Oh, no. oh it's so stuck in there. Oh, oh, oh. You see this brownie chunk? Uh, is it a brownie? I think so. It's brownie and cookie. I thought it. Oh, it's brownie and Oreo cookie. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I got a brownie chunk. Oh, no. There it is. It's very chunky. Mmm. Very chewy. Mm hmm. One of my favorite things from mm. Dairy Queen is their brownie sundae. I love a brownie sundae. I also well, love is cookies good. and cream ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. This one's over there. like the super loaded oh one so far. Mm. Okay. That's my favorite. I give it a nine. It's almost a ten. Yeah, it's really good. That's what I want out of a blizzard. I want it chock full of tons of pieces. Mm -hmm. We've been sleeping on Dairy Queen. I'm not letting this summer twisty misty summer sunset go. Okay, cheese curds. I'll have another one of you. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Why do I want another one? Yeah, you do. It was really good. I want this guy down here. It's time to try the backyard barbecue burger. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. Mm. Um, first a fun fact, and then I'll tell you what's on the burger, okay? Um, Dairy Queen is in 27 different countries. Really? Yeah, you can find it in places like Egypt, Thailand, Costa Rica, and Saudi Arabia. And the blizzard began in 1985. Well, they didn't turn ours upside down. Some locations give you a free blizzard if they forget to turn it upside down. So not all. Yeah, not all. One of my favorite bands uh, of junior high Bush. was formed in a Dairy Queen. Oh. You were close with your first guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, no doubt. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. funny. Are we gonna do the burger? Yeah. Who's gonna get the honors? Me? I feel like I've been taking bites lately a okay, lot. sure. The Backyard Bacon Ranch Signature Stack Burger. It comes as a double or a triple. We went for the double. 100% seasoned real beef patties topped with house-made Hidden Valley Ranch dressing, honey barbecue sauce, crispy golden onion rings, applewood smoked bacon, two slices of perfectly melted white cheddar, served on a soft and toasted bun. I wish this was warmer. It is still warm, but I wish it was hot, but yeah. this it's is just, though. all right. This bite has, let me get like a good bite with, that's good bacon on it, right? Yeah. It looks oh, really well. Too. What? Right? No. It's a, it was the, it was the burger. It looked like a pickle from the side. <laughs> um, it just looks really well made. So like props to our location. Okay. All right. This is an unhinging that bun's moment. So pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. Unhinge the jaw yeah. and attack. <laughs> Did I go cross-eyed? I don't know. <laughs> mm. Yes, it's oh barbecue god. sauce all over you. Mm. Oh. oh my god. Did you die and go to heaven? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, you're not ready. Did you get onion ring? <laughs> I have thoughts. Some good, some bad. 100% the best you could ever make this, right? Yeah. I don't know if I'm a barbecue sauce on a burger person. I'm not really either, but don't let the barbecue sauce flavor cloud your opinion on it. It's just a very strong flavor. So if you don't like barbecue. You know I don't like barbecue sauce. I thought it was honey barbecue. It is, but. And it has ranch. I don't taste any ranch. Um, my only mm. thing is that the barbecue sauce is so powerful that like you could tell me I was eating chicken, pork, or beef, and it's just very, very strong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is here for it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed, Dairy Queen. I mean, it's like a burger. It's a really good burger. You want to try the pretzels? I kind of want to eat an onion ring because I haven't eaten an okay. onion ring. Can we give the burger a rating? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Eight. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Like it's a good burger. Yeah, it's really like, good. Like I'm very interested in some of their other flavor burgers because if it if that one's that good and I'm not like super excited about the barbecue flavors on it, mm -hmm. imagine like one that's like pickles, onions, mm -hmm. lettuce. You know where I made a mistake with Dairy Queen? Getting chicken tenders and french fries. 
chicken tenders for most places are just not worth it. They're unless just it, really not. Unless it is a chicken place. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're giving me like basically Tyson frozen chicken fingers out of the bag, that's just not not the go-to to like judge so a like, restaurant. These aren't overcooked really. That's good. I mean when I maybe first, a little when but I looked in the bag I couldn't really tell. It was a it was a guess. Oh very crunchy though. Yeah, I hear them crunching. They this have like be. a flaky. This might be one of my favorite onion rings. Mm-hmm. They might be a little overcooked, but not like burnt. Like I don't they're not bad. I get like a slight little on the back end of that one. Mm. Oh, like a baby little. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just like a. I don't like, know. Are you talking about the flavor of the onion rings? No. I mean, that one tasted a little bit overdone, but the texture of it is what I'm liking. Mm hmm. It's almost like panko breads. Yes. Bread. Yeah. I'm going to look at the app and see what it says. Nothing is disappointing today. Mm -hmm. You might come for me, but this experience is blowing Culver's out of the water. <laughs> I mean, am, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's good. It doesn't say anything. It just says hot, crispy, and tasty DQ golden onion rings are a great addition. If any of you guys know what kind of breading is on the onion rings, if you guys like have worked there or just happen to know, it's so crunchy and good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited yeah. for the pretzels. Okay, this is a queso cheese dip and it's probably congealed now, but it is a yeah, warm queso. Yeah, it's a zesty queso and it was warm. They really do look like more of that um, super pretzel microwave-y. I'm gonna try it without the cheese first. Cheers. Oh no, too high, too high. <laughs> I just spit out my pretzel. All right, take two. Would have been better hot. Culver's got that one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so? I didn't taste like anything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't taste like anything. Mm -mm. Not my favorite. I'm just so-so on that. Ooh, if your pretzel, that was too salty at the end. Salty and a little bit of a kick. But if your pretzel sticks are the only thing that I'm like so-so on, then you're doing pretty good, I think. This is a honk and cheese curd. What you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? Oh my God, a chicken tender. It does look like a chicken tender. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, that's good. I will tell you. Those are different than what we've had. Something about the breading. It's like a weird seasoned breading. Almost gives me ch chicken nugget flavoring. And I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's been cooked with chicken nuggets Maybe. or if it has the same like flavored seasoning breading that a chicken nugget might have. What do you want to rate the pretzel sticks? Three, two, one, four. Five. Yeah, they weren't great. Like by themselves they're okay. And I think if they were hot, they would have been better. Maybe, I just. Cause I like the like texture of them. They're, I'm telling you, they're very super pretzel-y. I'm a connoisseur of super pretzels mm -hmm. and that's very super pretzel-y. That salt on the outside is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like not really put the super pretzel salt on mine cause it was so salty. Mm -hmm. And we got to where like I'd put butter on it. Mm -hmm. Cause that was better. It added salt, but it didn't add that like intense thick sea salt that I was like pursing my lips. Mm. You know, kind of the burger. Yeah, I do too. I need to remind myself of how how delicious it is. I I need to know what buns they use. They are so pretty. Mm. 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 I just realized why my brain is connecting this to like pork and barbecue because there's bacon on it. Mm-hmm. Well, there's ranch on this bite. I know it's That's stupid. But I want to go back in there and let them know how good it was. <laughs> you know they probably eat it. Oh, that's something I want to do. I want to go through drive throughs and order, like, whoever's at the drive through I want to be like, hey, I want to order whatever your favorite things are from here. Mm -hmm. Like, just pick five of your favorite things from, mm, and, good and, like, that's what I want. Favorite blizzard that you would go back and get. Three, two, one, Brookie. Brookie. Yeah, the Brookie's yeah. the best. Would you get the Misty, Twisty, Misty again? So... I'm not a big slushy person, but really? like if I was in the mood for a slushy, that's a very good slushy. Okay, how does it stack up against the blue raspberry breeze freeze? No, that one wins. Yeah, no, I that agree. One wins. I agree. It's a Taco blue, Bell is just <clears throat> the blue raspberry breeze freeze is a more unique. Yeah, I know you can't have degrees of uniqueness, but if you could, 
it's more unique. I would not recommend the pretzels. No. The cheese bites are 10 out of 10. Onion rings are good. Uh, 9 out of 10, I'm sorry. Freddy still holds 10 mm -hmm. in my heart. Onion rings are good. That burger is it's fire. It's freaking good. And I just wanna keep of all it. the burgers and sandwiches we've had. That's been your favorite? Yes. Of everything. I, look, the Big Mac changed my life a little bit. Well, that was that was like a iconic it's different sandwich to and have. And I really did like the melt at Culver's. The melt was good, but I like this better but than the melt. That is a whole quality. Yeah. Really freaking good. Really freaking good. Okay, can I end with any other Dairy Queen fun facts? Because fun fact, Dairy Queen's delicious. Yeah, it is. I need to know what your guys' favorite <laughs> Dairy Queen things are. Have we convinced you to try any of these? Because that is a holy crap burger. It's what she so means good. is holy shit. That's what I mean. What I'll tell you is the burgers give kind of that like pre-made frozen vibe, vibe, but I'm not, I'm not mad about this burger mm -mm. in the slightest, you guys. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. happy at that burger. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, the onion ring, the bacon, I don't even mind the cheese. I told myself I wouldn't go as hard because I have to go back and take pictures for the website, mm. but we still maintained. Oh my God, this was so good. So if you see me in today's photos that go up on the website, looking like, oh. It's because oh. of Dairy Queen. It's Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. If you didn't know, we put up new arrivals every day. Yeah, basically. All the new arrivals all the time. Madison Ellery, um, you can use code YouTube20 mm -hmm. to get 20% off your order. We buy all the inventory. Like we are the ones who choose what to buy for the store. Steph models it all. I take her picture. <laughs> and and Maddie and Kelsey, they do all their thing. Like they do TikToks, they edit stuff, make posts. We're a They're small. They're like the, the behind the computer. And our husbands stuff. do all of the like shipping inventory, processing orders. Um, we have a couple more um, people that work with us, but very, very small little family. When you support Madison Ellery, you're supporting a family. <laughs> so. Yeah, literally 50%, 60% is family. Yeah. So if you guys are curious or didn't know, go to MadisonMallory.com. We'll have a link down below. You can check it out. Most and of the stuff that we're wearing is from there. Yeah, this is the Dima. This is the Casey flannel that I'm rocking. Got the... Tanya. Tanya. I just said it earlier. Mm -hmm. And then my pants are these like cargo jogger pants that are the, the win. Win. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching this. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us where you want us to go next. We're having uh, too much fun. <laughs> I love food. Yeah, it's a good time. And we are gonna see you guys in another video very, very soon. Sooner than you think. Yep. Bye guys. Bye guys.